Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'll show you how to make a proper Ethernet cable using Tough Cable Carrier and Tough Connectors. First, here are the tools you'll need. Ethernet crimpers, cable strippers, side cutters, and needle nose pliers. Take your cable strippers and lightly score the outer jacket, then remove it. Now fold back the wire braid and remove it. Be careful not to cut the ESD drain wire. Fold the ESD drain wire back and unwind the foil shield, then fold it back as well. Remove the clear plastic around the wire pairs and anti-crosstalk divider. Fold the wire pairs back to expose the anti-crosstalk divider. Using wire cutters, cut away the exposed portion of the anti-crosstalk divider. Cut or tear away the foil shield leaving just under one centimeter. Fold the foil shield back towards the exposed wires. Now untwist the wire pairs and arrange them according to the ethernet standard you are going to use. In this example, I'm going to use T568B. Once you have the wires in the correct order and they are as straight as possible, use the side cutters to remove the excess wire. It's important that the cut is flush. Now take the tough cable connector and slide it over the wires. Ensure that the wires are inserted into the tough cable connector completely and that they make contact with the tip of the connector. The outside of the foil shield must connect with the metal inside the tough cable connector for proper termination and ESD protection. Place the tough cable connector and twisted pair cable into the cable crimper and press firmly. Loop the exposed portion of the drain wire through the drain wire hook on the outside of the connector and fold it over. Crimp the drain wire hook with a pair of needle nose pliers to create a secure contact between the drain wire and hook. Thank you for watching this video.